foundation for similar triangles is as follows. All the angles are congruent. So all the angles from this triangle is equal to the angles from the other triangle. So that's what we know. Secondly, we also know that corresponding sides are proportional. So that is how we're going to prove the ideas with sides. Corresponding sides must be sharing that same ratio. The postulates that we're going to focus on are as follows. There will be a question that deals with two angles. If you can prove that they are congruent, we're good. If you can show that we have two sides that are proportional and a congruent angle, side to angle side, that can work as well. Or if you have all three sides and you prove that they're sharing the same ratio, corresponding sides, same ratio, they are. And if you see two triangles with the same angles, then it is. So th these are the, the foundation for what we're gonna be using. Let's take a look at number one. Now, at number one, we, we see we have two triangles here, right? And they, they do, they're attached by straight lines. So lines cross like this. And whenever lines cross like this, what type of angles are formed? What do we call them? Two lines cross like this? Well, ver yes, vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent. So we have vertical angles, they are congruent, which means then that this angle here is congruent to this one here because the two lines cross. So we have an angle in the mix, congruent angles. Now we're going to have to test the sides to see if they're proportional. Now we do realize that these, we have the same length sides here. Already I'm seeing that it's not going to work because I have two different numbers here. So if we set it up, it won't work. So 40 divided by 16, we're certain that it's not equal to 39 divided by that same 16. Look, 16, 16. It's not the same. Everybody agree? So because we do realize that we won't get the same thing because this is 16 into 40 is not the same as 16 into 39. So we can say that these two triangles are not similar. So you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to decide, are my triangles similar or not? So they are not similar right here. So because they are not similar, even though I have something set up here, because they are not similar, we cannot write a similarity statement. Not similar, so we have no statement. Because we're supposed to write a similarity statement, but we don't have any statement here because they are not similar. Is that good? Sure. Let's take a look at number two. So we're certain that number one is not similar, and guess what? You're supposed to label it not similar. When I'm looking at it, I wanna see that, right? When you take a look at number two, we're noticing here that there is no angle. So if there is no angle given, then it's not this, it's not this, it's not this either. So it must be three sides because there is no angle given, but I got three sides. That means I'm going to be focused on my side, side, side postulate. Now, how am I going to do that? I'm going to compare the sides from triangle ABC with the sides from triangle HGB. But I got to make sure that I'm connecting corresponding sides. So I would suggest that we use the size to link. What do I mean? 84 must be corresponding with 14 since 84 is the largest from this triangle and the 14 is the largest from the other side triangle. So they would correspond in terms of size, right? So then, as a ratio, 84 to 14, so my largest to my largest, should be equal to my second largest, 72, with my second largest number here at the other triangle, 12. If it is similar, it still should equal to my smallest side here, which is 48, to the smallest one here, which is 8. So we just link corresponding sides. You always can use the numbers. 
the largest one here with the largest one here, the smallest one there with the smallest one here. The only way. So remember the idea is that if it is three sides I'm looking at, I'm going to use the largest compared to the largest and so on and so forth. Let us do the division and see if the numbers come back. 84 divided by 14. Six. Six. 72 divided by 12. Six. 48 divided by 8. Six. We just realized that the sides are in proportion. All our corresponding sides are in proportion. And this suggests that side, side, side postulate is telling us that, hey, we do have a similar case. They are similar. Now, because they are similar, I want you to write me a similarity statement. The similarity statement will be following this order that we have here. So we have triangle CBA is similar to, now we gotta make sure that we connect corresponding vertices. Now they start off with C here. I'm gonna have to make sure I start off with the right thing from the other triangle. So you can't just write what you want. You gotta decide, is C corresponding to H, to G, or F? It's F, right? Now if you're not certain why people say F, if you take a look, the, it's the vertex that the largest side and the smallest side meet. It formed that angle right here. Largest, small as they need to form it. That means for my other triangle that is similar, my largest 14, my smallest 8, will need to correspond with the idea. So that's it. Everything matches back. So then we can say F. But where do we go? Do we go FH or FG? We go FG. Why? Why do we go FG? Is it the po all right, points? All right, so you're looking at it in terms of orientation, like it flipped. All right, yeah, good. That's one way you could look at it. All right, so what she's saying is that, hey, this looks like there's a flip. So this to that, and we could see that. What else? If you look on the numbers as well, when you left C, you went along the shortest side, CD. Agree? That means if I left F, I have to go along the shortest side, F, G have to match up. So that works too. So if you look at the numbers, just follow. So C along the shortest side to B, F along the shortest side to G, and we compute. We just got to look out of our eyes and then we make decisions. So this is what we call a similarity statement. Let us go to another idea. Because you have 12 to do. For this one, um, I'm just going to talk about it. I'm not going to say much. I'm going to skip because you're going to do this on your own. If you look, there are no angles in terms of numbers that are given or sides, but there are indications here. There is an indication at angle T that is the same indication at angle J. We have a one stroke there. That suggests that these two angles are what? They are what? Not similar. Angles are not similar. We say angles are what? Congruent. So this would have meant that they are the same size. The measure. Also, we saw U, the same double stroke as K. Same double stroke. So that means that the angle at U is congruent to the angle at K. We have the same double stroke. Which means that we have an angle angle situation here. And that's one of the postulate. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do after that is to write the similarity statement and you're going to do that for yourself. Let me go to number six. So this is the one that I want to put some, shed some light on just a little bit. All right, so let me shed some light on this one right here. So for this one, the triangles are, it's like an enlargement, right? What we call a dilation took place. Maybe it were we had the smaller one and it stretched, or we actually had the bigger one and it shrink, right? Maybe. But whichever the case may be, whenever we have these, we want to think about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the smaller one out of it, all right? So that you can focus on them. Watch. So I'm going to pull this one out. So this is KBC. 
C. So this is K. Come on, guy, man. Come on, what are you doing? Give me one minute. All right, that's all right. So this is K. K. B. C. This is 16 for KB, right here. So I'm gonna take this off so we're not confused with it when we're ready. I'm gonna take off the B2, right? That's KB right here. Now, KC is 25 right here. So this is 25 right there, 25. So I'm gonna take this off when I'm ready. Take a look. KC correspond to KM, not CM, because CM is not a side of a triangle. It's a part of the side in terms of the distance. So in order to know KM, we have to add these two numbers. So this becomes 132. So I'm gonna take off the 25, and I'm gonna take off all of this here, so that you can focus on KM, KC. So now we're seeing the triangles now, right? Remember now, taking off this too, I wanted to see what's going on. So you can see that triangle and this one, basically that's what is going on. So we're gonna now compare these. Are they similar or not? First things first, we're seeing that the angles are the same. They did share that same angle at K. We agree? Yes. So we know that we have angles already. So it's gonna be side, it's gonna be a side angle side idea because we're seeing two sides here, two sides here, and a corresponding angle, angle, angle right here, right? So we have the angle here. So what we're gonna do now is just to see if these sides are in proportion. So I'm gonna take the smaller side from the, the, the bigger triangle. So I'm gonna add 88 to 16, agree? 88 to 16 as a ratio. I'm gonna see if it is equal to 132 to 25. 132 to 25. We wanna see if that's working. Let's do our math. 88 divided by 16, 5.5. 132 divided by 25. 5.28? Are they equal? That means they're not proportional. Which means this is not proportional up there. So because whenever, whenever you work out corresponding sides, if the ratios do not come back, it means that they're not proportional. And if they're not proportional, then we can conclude that these triangles are not they are not similar. Not. Do we agree? They are not similar. So if they are not similar, do we have a similarity statement to be written? No. So we, we, all we have to say is not similar and we'll move on to the next question. That's all. So basically all the questions you're dealing with, it's going to be one of those ideas that you're putting together. Whenever you're dealing with the sides, corresponding sides must share that same ratio. And remember, angles are always congruent. So if you're not getting the notion that the angle here is there, if we're not getting at least two of them, it's not gonna work. So you look at the notation given and then you make up your mind.